On a windy day north of Kearney last week, we talked with Dave Boxler. The UNL Extension educator in entomology says now is a good time to start scouting for flies. If left untreated, flies can pose a major economic threat to cattle and pastures across the state. Well, actually, uh, this year has been uh, kind of unusual anyway. We've had a, uh, a warm-up much faster than we normally do. And uh, now is the time to go out and look at your cattle uh, before you send them to the pasture and, and see if the fly numbers are starting to, to come on. We like to target treatment starting in uh, the 1st of uh, June, mm -hmm. especially for insecticide air tags. We have three different species of flies that uh, we are working with here in Nebraska this year that uh, bother uh, pastured cattle. That would be the stable fly, the horn fly, and the face fly. And we'll start with the horn fly. It is a small fly that uh, stays on the animal almost exclusively during the day. The only time the fly will leave the animal is when the female leaves to deposit eggs in fresh cow manure. Otherwise, it's on the animal all the time. During the cooler part of the day, you're going to see that fly up on the sides and the top line of the animal. As we progress towards noon or one o'clock in the afternoon when it gets warm, those flies will migrate to the belly region of the animal and uh, they will not be as noticeable to the producer at that time. So if you're going to uh, determine if you're getting good fly control for horn flies, you need to go out and make your observations between uh, nine o'clock in the morning and say noon. That'll give you a good idea if your fly control is working. And then what are the life cycles of the stable fly and the face fly? The stable fly takes uh, about uh, 24 days to go from egg to an adult. And what's interesting about the stable fly, it does not develop in straight cow manure. It likes a combination of organic material, uh, such as spent hay uh, that we see in the background here, and uh, manure and moisture. That's where it likes to develop. The face fly does develop in straight cow manure. And uh, the face fly has uh, some real issues too because it can vector the bacteria that causes pink eye. And pink eye, uh, once it gets set up in cattle's eyes, can cause some real serious issues and possibly the loss of an eye. We'll talk about treatment options, but as viewers will notice, the wind is having its way with us. And I mentioned to you before we started that the flies shouldn't be a problem today, but you said they actually could be. And what other signs should producers be looking for to see if they do have a, a problem with flies? Well, certainly the, or the horn flies are gonna be on the animals exclusively and continuously, and they'll be moving down toward the belly when it gets windy like this. They don't like the wind mm -hmm. either. The stable fly will tend to rest on objects like we see in, the, in our uh, background, like the barn, be resting sites out of the wind. As soon as the wind dies down, they'll be out feeding. If you see your cattle grouped in, in, uh, in small groups in corners of pastures, that's a good indication that you have a stable fly issue and you need to provide some type of, of control. Based on the economic impact that it could have on cattle, what are the treatment recommendations and options that producers have? Well, for stable flies, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of options for uh, cattle in pastures. The stable fly feeds exclusively on the legs of animals. Insecticide ear tags, dust bags, and oilers really do not focus the treatment down in that area of the body. The only thing that will provide a relief to the stable fly on pastured cattle would be animal spraying. And we suggest that uh, uh, producers try to, uh, to help the animals out by at least spraying once per week. In the areas where flies may lay maggots, what can producers, can, the, can you do anything to eliminate the, the growing of new flies? Well, yes, an example uh, in our background here, we see a lot of spent hay, and, and this would be a very excellent area for stable flies to develop. You can apply a larvicide to that, or you can clean that area up, take it out on the field and spread it out in a thin area and let it dry it out. You mentioned pink eye. What are the other economic problems or bottom line numbers that producers could see if they don't control flies? Well, in respect to horn flies, we've done a lot of uh, economic studies here in Nebraska, and we've seen where weaning weights can be affected by anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds, difference between a calf that has received treatment and a calf that has not. So that's pretty significant. Yep. On a national level, it ranges anywhere from 4% to 15% reduction. 
in the case of stable flies, uh, in our studies that we did at North Platte uh, several years ago, we saw that uh, stable fly numbers averaging about three and a half per leg reduced average daily gains by 0.44 pounds per day. And that's really significant. So it, it really uh, will uh, uh, help your uh, profit line if you go out and, and reduce those fly levels.